Yes, greetings to you, and uh, hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to HBMS TV, Talking Health. And uh, today's sharing is going to be very, very simple. I want to discuss something about uh, high blood pressure, which is one of the conditions that is affecting very many people out there. Uh, but before I get into the real discussion about hypertension, I felt it important to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that is HBMS TV Talking Health, such that every time we put something of value, you can always follow through and be in position to learn about your health. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to discuss before I get into the details of today's show is uh, the water and your body. You is watching us at HBMS TV. You know that water is very, very, very vital. And uh, unfortunately, we do not know the special times when we are supposed to take water. And uh, I want to bring you to your notice that uh, drinking one glass of water at the right time maximizes its effectiveness on the human body so you may are taking let me so I'll give you examples taking a glass of water after waking up in the morning it helps you activate all your internal organs including the brain if you're this victim who if you're this person who is a victim of setting an alarm clock to wake up and get to work to wake up and work on something but you find yourself snoozing the alarm, to, uh, alarm clock and then sleep again, put a glass of water on the bedside. When the alarm goes, pick that glass of water and drink. You'll see what happens. Sleep will go. That is a sign that your internal organs are being activated, including the brain. The brain. Then the other one is 30 minutes before a meal. It is going to help you in proper digestion. It is very, very vital. Then, uh, before taking a bath, this will help you lower down your blood, your blood pressure and then take your shower comfortably to avoid circumstances of people who fall in bathrooms and all that. Then the other one, before going to bed, also helps you to avoid stroke and heart attacks. Eh? So this is very, very nice information that you can share with someone. When somebody shares with you something that is very, very helpful, it's an obligation to share with someone. So basically, when we talk about uh, today's condition, hypertension, but before I get into the details, I want to send greetings to our official sponsor, that is Michiana Institute of Nursing, the director, Mr. Chintu John. I salute you. And to anyone who is out there and uh, you feel like you want uh, your child to do nursing, Mitiana Institute of Nursing and Midwifery is here for you. We always have intakes in January and in July. So always reach out to us and we can help you out. So when we talk about high blood pressure or hypertension, what does it mean? Hypertension is the blood pressure. Hypertension is high blood pressure. Everyone has blood pressure. But the moment it becomes high, that is hypertension already, which is a very, very common condition these days. And uh, blood pressure is just the pressure that blood exerts on the walls of the arteries eh, when the heart is pumping. It has ranges from, let me say, we have the, when the heart has expanded or contracted, there is that pressure. When it relaxes, that is also another pressure. So it is in ranges. I do not expect you to say you are hypertensive when it is one scene. Eh? It has to be routinely checked. Let me say a dog is after running. Is, a dog is, has run after you and then you have high blood pressure and then you start anti-hypertensive. No. It must be consistently. After you've gone to health workers, you've gone to clinics, you've gone to the hospital and they've done checkups. And I bring, I want to tell you that an ele elevated blood pressure 
means that the heart must work harder to pump blood. Eh? So already there is a problem. And how do you know that you have high blood pressure? We have signs and symptoms. I do not say that the moment you have these ones, it's conclusive. No. You must go for a checkup. But these are signs. Signs is something you could see pressure. Symptoms is something somebody complains of. Eh? We can always talk about persistent severe headaches. Eh? You need to go for a checkup. Then fatigue. Every time you're fatigued, eh? then talk about vision problems or blood vision. You can't see clearly. Then talk about chest pain all the time, difficulty in breathing. Then you can talk about irregular heartbeats. At times they call them palpitations. They must be persistent. Eh? Then uh, blood in urine. That is very worse. Then irregular heart, uh, heart beats. I've talked about that. Then the pounding in the chest, eh? or neck and uh, the ears and all that. Eh? Those are some of the signs and symptoms. And what are the risk factors? Of hypertension, you is following us at HBMS TV. Smoking, it is going to affect you. Overweight or obesity, you need to do something about it. Too much salt consumption, at times they even say low salt. Eh? Then too much alcohol consumption, more than one to two drinks per day. It's okay to drink once in a while, but don't do it excessively. Then another risk factor is stress. You can talk about old age, hypertension is common. Then genetics, you may find it is running in a family. Family history eh, of high blood pressure or genetic defects. Then the other one, you can talk about chronic kidney disease, adrenal or thyroid disorders. All these are risky factors. And how do you treat or prevent? Prevention is better than cure, you all know. And that is the purpose of HBMS TV, to help educate you on how to prevent. The prevention that you can look at is the losing weight if you're obese or if you're overweight. Do exercises. Then eating a healthy diet and salt and low salt diet intake. Then exercise regularly. You can keep doing exercises. Limit alcohol consumption. And if you're smoking, quit smoking and uh, we have a very wonderful health care system where we have antihypertensives to give you but i would advise you that before you get started on antihypertensives and drugs and all that you must seek medical advice you must go to the hospital such that you begin drugs under proper instruction however for purposes of prevention of hypertension there are also some beautiful supplements that can help you. For example, we have the Colladius, we have uh, C247, we have Complete Fight Energizer, we have Living Alkaline Coffee. For dosages, you can turn out to the person who invited to the show to guide you accordingly. Then for also people who are already victims, as long as you're taking your medication, you can also use these supplements to make sure that you can prevent, you can reverse the complications. Eh? We have beautiful products. There is Vidamax, there is the Living Burn Coffee, different, different products which are natural and proven and approved by the National Drug Authority. So you can always use, use them. And uh, I would advise you to seek medical attention from hospitals, whether to withdraw from any drug while you're taking. Don't fall a victim. You must seek medical advice. I want to thank you very much for following through. Once again, I send greetings to the HBMS TV crew out there. As long as you're part of HBMS TV, we are ready to give you both health and wealth. HBMS TV, talking health. Thank you very much and may God bless you.